Hey everyone, Scott from My Steps here, and today I have a new video for you. Um, today I want to show you how to set up your Photoshop Actions to help automate some of the separation process. This isn't really going to do the separation for you in any way. It's more going to help do the initial setup and help speed up um, the actual process of getting started to working on your separation so that you can get all of that copying and pasting done um, right away and you won't have to wait to start actually creating your colors and things like that. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is oh, make sure you have your channels and your actions windows open. And over here on your actions you're going to create a new folder called setup and then you're going to create a new file called sep setup from RGB and then you're going to hit this record button. As you can see down at the bottom of your actions here the red record button is now lit so it's going to start um, keeping track of everything that you do in Photoshop. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to change it to CMYK and make a new channel, make my background make it whatever color you want your shirt to be. I usually make it a gray and then I can change it to black or white or whatever later on. Number one, base white. Fill it with white. Number two, top white. That can be a 70% solidity. black put that back to 100 percent okay so those are the basic colors that I'm almost gonna have in every separation a base white a top white and a black um, I can always delete them but I pretty much like to start with those these um, four channels and then let's start making our copies of our CMYK so we're gonna make a C M Y K. Then I'm going to go up here to the cyan, select all copy, paste, deselect. Magenta, select all copy, paste, deselect. Select all copy, paste, deselect. Black, select all copy, paste, deselect. Um, I'll explain why I did that in a minute, but uh, let me finish my script here. And the next, the last uh, channel is going to be my target channel, which is going to be a 100% spot color, blank channel. And I'm going to deselect. And then that completes my actions. I'm going to click back on the CMYK and then I'm going to go down here and hit stop. So now it's uh, saved, so I can go ahead and revert back to my original. Now let's say I wanted to start working on this. I now have that script. So I'm going to go to Actions and click on this and hit Play. And now I have all of these copied and pasted in here, ready to go, ready to start separating. Okay, so let me flatten this just to make sure. Now, the reason why I make copies of the CMYK is because if you are to load these channels, they're actually the reverse of what you want. So it saves you a step in your knockouts. For example, if I wanted to grab my CMYK, paste it into my target channel, and knock out my black, all, the, all of the background and the black areas are knocked out. But if I decided to load this black and delete it, it's actually deleting everything but the black. So in order to get it properly, I would have to load it, select inverse delete, which is a little bit of a few extra steps. So. 
this saves you a lot of time in your knockout process by just having duplicates of these ones here. So yeah, that's how uh, you make an action script in Photoshop. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.